So much for watching all this. I I've had a rough life. Right now I'm living in my ice cream. I I I slept in, I sleep in the ice cream truck occasionally, but basically I live in my van. I did a video in the van a few months ago. I've had a rough time. Most of the most of the problems are pretty much my, myself. People say, well, do stand-up, do 20 years. I don't have 20 years left. I've had so many injuries and stuff lately. Two knee replacements, shoulder replacements, so many, so many operations. People don't call me Hogan anymore. They call me Hogenstein. And uh, I appreciate everything you do. Maybe I could be the, the luck of the Geritol generation. The Sophia Grace and Rosie of the old timers. The Grace and Chance. That's me. I, I just want a chance. Uh, years ago you had Colonel Sanders and Grandma Moses. I'm not as old as Colonel Sanders was, but could you give me a break? If you could, of course, the nationwide poll the massive nation, nationwide poll about the portrait was me. I appreciate whatever you can. And uh, so this is Roddy, this isn't anybody else. I've had a real rough life. 
I stay in the ice cream truck or, or my van at the ice cream place. It's rough there. And in my van, I have a bunch of little friends, too, that call. It's hard to get rid of them. And I, I don't think I could make it through another winter. I really don't. I love you. God bless. Whatever you can do, I really appreciate I think I can. Oh, I also have a little movie in my mind that would be produced by Ellen DeGeneres. It's about, I know this is a big shock, an ice cream truck, an ice cream truck driver, the bad ice cream man, who would be me. Yeah, don't have it, all the others cash yet, but you can probably figure who's gonna, who would play my big brother. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's very hard to figure that one out. And I think it would be an Oscar winning movie. You'll, you'll go up there to, to pick up the Oscar for best picture. I'll shut up. I've talked too long. I love you. Whatever you can do. God bless. Hey, Alan and everybody. Uh, the last scene was going to be from my van. But then I went to work later that day. And I was very sick. They had to take me to the hospital. I was rushed to the hospital. Where I found out. Da 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 da. My blood sugar, 734. I'm diabetic. Hey. I have my Diet Coke. <laughs> it tastes like. And now, on the ice cream truck, I can't eat too much. Too many carbs. Too many carbs. Holy cow, way too many carbs. What, what, can I find anything in here I can eat? Is that Jimmy Hoffa? Oh my gosh. I'm not eating those carbs. Oh my god. I found something that I can eat in here. Snow! Yay! I can eat this. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff in there. But I can eat the snow along with the uh, Halo Wonderful Food for Lunch. Please, Ellen, get me out of here. Let me become the Grandma Moses and the Colonel Sanders of entertainment. Please. I don't know how much longer I can last in my ice cream truck and living in my van. And I was thinking plenty about my movie, The Ice Cream Man. It's awesome. And you'll be the producer and get your, get your Oscar. Thank you. I'm gonna eat now. Yum, yum, yum. Well, what you gonna do when Roddy Hogan and everybody go wild on you? Rah!